Hello there, what's going on everybody? Today I'm coming to you with another Overwatch Ultimates unboxing and review for Lucio. Oh, Lucio is a very, very fun character and we're going to be taking a look at this figure and uh, checking him out completely. While I spin the box around, I do want to remind you guys there is a brand new round of the giveaway going on right now. Big giveaway is going to run until the end of May for the Star Wars Celebration Chicago exclusive Hasbro Black Series Maul and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So uh, you can win those. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite Overwatch figure is, especially from this line. They are all really cool. So let's go ahead and pop this guy out of the box. All right, here he is, folks. And this is actually a really impressive figure for a number of reasons. Uh, I'm loving the effects that come with him that go onto his feet. Uh, I'm loving all the different color and uh, texture details on this figure. A lot of really good articulation as well. And we're going to take a look at all of it. But yeah, he looks really, really nice. Um, I just want to point out he does come with a number of extra little bits and pieces. One thing that's very important is he does come with these extra hands here. So while he's got uh, the one hand doing that little uh, look, and then he's got the other hand ready to punch. Uh, now these are the same hand. For, uh, for whatever reason, they decide to give him two um, left hands. So that means his right hand is kind of locked in to being just this particular pose, which is kind of uh, a strange choice, why they would give him you know two extra hands but make them both this hand. So um, I don't know. But you know usually you want to have somebody have some options, but I guess, uh, I guess that's the, what they went with, so that's what it is. Now, looking at the figure, we'll, we'll see everything else that he does come with. He comes with these extra little uh, feet uh, effects, and they have little like notches right there in the center where his, uh, you know, his roller blades can you know fit right in, and they they do fairly well. They'll kind of stay on there pretty good, and and these double as not only just being like the effect of him like kind of wall riding or going really fast. But they also help kind of steady him because they will they lock in there and he can kind of stand up a little bit easier on them. They don't offer that much support, but they do offer some support. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Additionally, he comes with his little sonic blaster. And uh, his hair actually uh, came off in the box. I don't know if it was intended to be a separate piece, but apparently you can also, um, you know, articulate the hair. So let's take a closer look at this figure here and uh, look at all of the different paint apps for on it. Uh, first off, let's take a look at the head. We'll start at the top. Now, a little disappointed that they didn't do a more of a fade effect on the hair because like, well, you do see it kind of on the top where it fades from, you know, the dark black to like a more of a blondish. Um, if you see it from the side, it's just going to look like it went from straight from black to, to, you know, to blonde. So, you know, not exactly, uh, the best paint on this little excess headpiece here, but, uh, you know, that's, I guess that's not too bad. Um, now we got some a nice little tattoo here on the arm. Um, pretty good face. We've got great eye. You know, I like the way that they kind of did his eyes and this visor here kind of slides out. We can get a look at his face there, but I don't want to do that too much because it may not bend back too easily all the time. So uh, we've got the goatee right there. Um, we've got the happy little frog on the chest there. So we got his, uh, you know, kind of like his classic look here. I've uh, got the little little sound wave on the belt buckle, slight, you know, error on some of the paint there, but not too bad. I've got yellow and black cables going around. On his back, we see he's got his little turntable. His, uh, so he's got his, you know, sound powered gear is in effect. And then we go to the legs and the legs are really, really huge uh, on this guy. Um, really, really big legs. But of course, you know, that's, that's how he is. That's how he looks. Um, Looks really good. Um, he's got his roller blades here, and and uh, the feet have some of the craziest, uh, you know, this is some of the craziest feet I've ever seen because like he doesn't really want to stand up too much with this. You know, look, if you look at the bottom of his feet, he does have like the roller blade effect going on on these feet. It's that clear plastic. It's real nice, but uh, you know, you're trying to stand him up. Normally, you'd, you you probably could. You'd probably have to. You could balance them, and because they're kind of like plasticky rubber. Um, it'll actually stand up pretty good even without these. <laughs> so I kind of dig that. Um, let's take a look at this character's articulation. 
All right, so starting with the head, now Lucio does not look up too far, but he has a decent amount of upwards looking, but downwards he goes very far down. He can look all the way down. Uh, I did mention that his hair articulates. It does spin around. However, it is kind of loose in there, so it's very easy to pop out. So just uh, if you're going to move it around, it's probably going to pop out on you. Now, his head does not really swivel side to side very much, but he can turn around and look uh, with a lot of range of motion there. But uh, I'm digging the whole... Um, you know, as far forward and back as it goes. It's uh, pretty good compared to a lot of other figures. Now, uh, shoulders, they go up real high. He can do like almost a full-blown Y, which is really great. Um, of course, he doesn't have much armor here hindering it. So, you know, he's got like full range of motion just about for, for his arms, which is something you don't see a whole lot. And you did not see that incorrectly. That is double-jointed elbows, which is something you don't see on figures very often and that just gives him all the just just all the mobility all the mobility he can think he can be sitting there turning a doing a turntable all of that loving the double jointed elbows now our wrist articulation he's got this his wrists move really really well too he can totally scratch his own ear and not too many characters can actually scratch their own ear so um not that's something i want to do a whole lot but like he can you know he can be like he can scratch his back. He can scratch his own back. Look at this. Look at this guy, man. He's got incredible arm articulation. So I'm loving that. Now, uh, onto chest. Uh, he does have, uh, like other Overwatch characters, he's got the double, um, like double chest, you know, and I love that he's got basically got the upper abdomen crunch where this is going to go here and we can do a little bit of rotation and side to side. He's got a lot of rotation at the abdomen, both backwards and forwards, but then he's also got this lower abdomen joint so he can make those two work together and go forward really far, backward really far. Good for getting blown up or jumping right into something. Um, or if you have to sit, you can really try to pose them in all your emotes if you want to do that. Um, now, if we're going to go down past the waist to the legs, and the legs is where this character is both good and bad. Um, so uh, our legs, now side to side, amazing, right? Look how high up he can kick. He can do a straight, almost, he, he, he's like doing straight up Jean-Claude Van Damme kicks right there. Absolutely love that. Uh, he can go forward really far. He can go backward really far. So, you know, the first leg joint, it's one of the best leg joints I've ever seen. And so we get to the knees. The knees are as a, as a problem because we've got only a single joint for the knee and it barely moves because you've got this piece. And this is hard plastic here. It's not going to budge. You can only articulate the knees that much. And that's really a shame. Um, now, I feel like they made up for this with all the other articulation he's got. This is the one really bad piece. And, I mean, I guess I understand it's he's got really thick. He's got a lot of leg armor, so it's hard to hard to kind of do it. But it would have been nice if this piece kind of moved back or was soft plastic and you could get them into more poses that way. Um, you do also have an upper thigh swivel, which I forgot, so you, you have that as well. Um, and, and now for the ankle, you have some pretty good ankle articulation here. Um, you've got a, a ball joint on the feet, uh, and of course you can go up and up and down as well, and they have that ankle pivot. But he goes really, really far, like you can go straight up like sideways with the feet. You know, you don't really want to do quite that much, but it's really, really good foot articulation. Um, so between the, you know, the legs, you know, this, this whole knee not being there, you can still kind of make up for it with a whole lot of other things. You can still, you can still do just about whatever you want, but if you wanted to have him kneeling, you're, well, you're not really going to be able to do that too well. You're going to have to go kind of like, like that. And that's not the best pose for him, but, um, you know, so considering everything else is really good. I guess I'll have to just make do with the lack of knee articulation. Here he is kind of doing a split, giving you that look, you know, so you can definitely, you know, get him in a couple of positions, don't always have to have the foot effects on him. And here he is doing a wall ride on his own box, because you know what, let's put those fancy foot effects into work. Now he doesn't come with this stand as a Bandai stand, but uh, you know, it's just kind of some one of the things you might pose Lucio doing. So ultimately, I really do like this figure. The one drawback that I have is that the knees don't really bend in all the way, but I feel like all the rest of the articulation uh, kind of makes up for it, um, although knees is kind of a big deal. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll take the good with the bad. It's a great-looking figure. The uh, the paint is great. The, the effects are very cool, and I feel like it very much captures the character's likeness. Plus, I'm always happy to get extra pieces, like extra hand options. So I definitely like that a lot. 
If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out crabbox.com. You can also hop in my Discord and say hi over there, as well as check out all my other videos talking about everything from collectibles to Star Wars to tabletop gaming. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank my patrons as well. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank <laughs> you.